CTNA, or the Center for the Translational Neuroscience of Alcoholism, is one of the first efforts in the United States to bring together basic and clinical neuroscience to study the neurobiology of the vulnerability to alcoholism and a way of translating that neurobiology into novel treatment approaches. The mission of the CTNA is really to, to understand the neural circuitry underlying uh, alcohol drinking behavior. Specifically, the CTNA has focused over the years on trying to understand corticostriatal mechanisms and the interaction of uh, genetics of alcoholism. So, for example, having a family history of alcoholism, how does that uh, produce differences in corticostriatal pathways, and how does that produce differences in how people um, like alcohol, how people drink alcohol, how people people move from the initial period of getting alcohol reward to more habitual drinking behavior. Um, in my project, what we are doing is we are targeting two neurochemical systems which specifically target this corticostriatal pathway, which is the opioids and the glutamate system. And we are trying to understand how these two different uh, pathways or processes are involved in drinking behavior and trying to target medications to specifically act on these particular pathways and processes. My name is Stephanie O'Malley. I'm a professor of psychiatry, and I'm the co-director of the CTNA and the director of the clinical core uh, of the center. The function of the core is to make sure that each project runs really well and it meets its objectives, but it also contributes to the likelihood that each project will contribute more broadly to the center as a whole. By understanding risk factors for alcoholism through these assessments across projects. It may guide our ideas about the kinds of treatments we may want to develop, and then this hopefully will help us understand uh, risk factors for alcoholism and where we might intervene in the future. My name is Anessa Abidarham. I'm a professor of psychiatry and radiology at Columbia University, and I'm principal investigator on one of the projects within the CTNA. My project is to use PET, positron emission tomography, to image dopamine transmission in subjects who are at risk for developing alcoholism, as well as in alcoholic patients. Patients with alcoholism have a blunted dopamine transmission system in the brain. Uh, so meaning when we use PET imaging, we do a D2 scan before and after a challenge to release dopamine in the brain, and we measure how much dopamine is released. In general, the more we understand about what is going on in the brains of patients who has any mental disease, and in particular here was alcoholism, the more we understand, the more we can develop better treatments in the future, better prevention, possibly. My name is uh, Phil Corlett, and I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Psychiatry, and I'm a PI on one of the pilot projects in the CTNA. And the key focus of that project is exploring in humans a set of processes involved in learning and memory, key processes that we found in animal work to be related to propensity to self-administer addictive substances like alcohol. If we find that there's a subpopulation of individuals who are predisposed to alcoholism through this mechanism of cue sensitivity, then knowing more about the neural mechanisms of this process and knowing more about the behavioral basis of these processes might allow us to develop better pharmacological treatments and also better psychological treatments uh, for, for uh, individuals with alcoholism. So overall, we're uh, probing the bio underlying biology of alcoholism and translating that biology into testing novel treatment hypotheses. And in a center like ours, the basic clinicians are, basic researchers are informing the clinical researchers. The advances in the clinical research in turn drive questions that can only be answered at the basic science level. And this back and forth is really the crux and the core of what we're uh, doing in our center. Thank you.